A note at the suspect's home from relatives offered condolences to the victim's families, but no clues to explain the rampage. Shots fired, shots fired. Within two minutes, the first officers arrived on scene. Police engaged the suspect in a lengthy gun battle as he moved through the three-story building. In the final moments, the suspect firing through the door and walls of an office at police. And when they breached the door, the suspect was then alive and was taken into custody, and first aid was immediately rendered to him. The entire ordeal lasting a horrifying 36 minutes. The chief said the gunman died later at a hospital. Several co-workers, they came in, they were laughing. We talking each other, and at the end of the day, they couldn't get, get home forever. It's the saddest day in my life. Today, across this community, those lost were remembered. Lakita was really an incredible person. She was always a positive, vibrant soul. Mayor Bobby Dyer. One uh, non-employee, Bert Snelling, was a friend of mine. One of the nicest guys you ever want to meet. But they're not only our city employees, they're friends, they're neighbors, they're colleagues. They are Virginia Beach. And they focus on the heroes, like the first responders and police officers, who they say still tried to save the gunman's life after he'd been captured, even though he'd just been shooting at them and carrying out a massacre. At this hour, four wounded people remain hospitalized, all in